to add one, we simply click the add button. Then there's a bit of information here that uh, perhaps not everyone would know about. When I select the category, uh, the system will actually do what we call as a postback. Um, and so when it goes to postback, what it's doing is looking to see if there's any configuration around that particular category, because as you'll see in, the, in one of the agenda items later, you can actually configure extra pieces of content that you want to capture against an issue, and you can contextualize that to categories. So for example, if I was to select um, safety, you see it refreshed and we've now got a drop down called type and in that you've got a list called life threatening minor reportable and that list could be whatever you want and so that's that particular piece of information is contextualized to the category safety um, selecting design it's now changed to drawing type and you've got engineering and architect there's nothing to stop you having five six ten a hundred pieces of uh, extra data that you want to capture either on every issue or contextualized to a category. And the data types for that aren't just drop down lists, you also have dates, uh, text, uh, numbers, currency, that type of thing. So once I'm happy to have selected the right category, and you know, we try to encourage, certainly my own company, we use Unify extensively and, and every issue should have some sort of category assigned to it. Um, and it's quite easy to see if it hasn't when you can use these sortable data grids in a moment. Um, so you should be selecting a category to give it as much context as you can. Um, and you'll see later in reporting how that helps. And then we would come up with an issue. One that always happens on webinars, something wrong with the audio. Um, I can then assign that particular issue to anyone on the project team. So again, it's contextualized. The resources module is integrated with the issues module and you need to have people in roles on projects to be able to assign work to them. Fix this up for me. Uh, we've got, I'm not sure if he's on the call, he was going to be. Uh, then you've got an escalation um, process that you can use. Basically, this is a way of um, reporting information to key uh, stakeholder groups without needing to assign um, the information to them. They can then filter for, or you can filter in reports for those groups. It actually works as a hierarchy. So if you've escalated to the steering committee, the uh, project manager will understand what's been escalated to everything above him, program manager, everything above him, steering committee, everything above him. So you select steering committee, it shows all the things that have been escalated to sponsor and board, as well as steering committee. Now, those labels, again, they're just out for this particular system. It's your configuration option to come up with whatever you want in that particular list. The functionality works the same, though it's a hierarchy of escalation. So, for example, the board would only see issues escalated to them. Only, where a sponsor would get board and sponsor. Issue templates enable you to set up standard sets of actions in response to an issue. So typically they're used when the issue is being logged of an operational nature. So um, in one program, they had to have a um, track a performance in response to progress claims or, or, or contractor invoicing, and they would have a set number of tasks they had to do to actually get packaged up all the contractors claims and submitted to the client, which was a government client. Um, so you know, in doing that, they set up those tasks by selecting this particular option um, that sits behind this is a number of actions. Those actions automatically get assigned to people in those roles and you can set up a standard response time, you know, two business days, three business days, four business days. So I'll just select one of them and we'll see what happens. High, medium and low can mean whatever it means to you, but that is actually one list that isn't configurable. It's a standard list of, of ratings. So you've got three ratings for an issue, high, medium and low. Uh, set it a due date. This is completely new. No one on the call will have this drop down in their system at the moment. This is our ability to link it to a milestone. And what that means is milestone will have a date. The issue's got a date. If the issue due date goes past the milestone date, then it pushes out the milestone date. And I'll demonstrate that later. We also have here the ability to add the first comment into the system and to attach files to that system, uh, to that comment. Um, and that's, um, you, you would have to see the um, outcome of that particular comment by using this save and drill option rather than just save. You can see in this, in this grid underneath that there's no uh, comments to be seen on that particular screen. You have to actually drill in on an issue to see the comment. So if I was just to hit save on this particular example, um, all it's done is add it to the list of things to, to resolve on the project. Um, but uh, once I've um, done that, I can actually then drill in on that particular issue 
and, and have a look at it um, in more detail. So that's the same, save and drill does the same effect as uh, clicking um, through on a particular um, screen and, and getting the information that's there. The second way of um, logging an issue is through Outlook. And so Unify comes with an Outlook plugin. I'll just go to my email. And so when you're in uh, Outlook, and so it, this plugin only works if you're using Outlook. If you're using another email client, unfortunately, that this method won't exist for you. Um, on the ribbon at the top of Outlook, uh, you'll get this. Uh, these two options here when you've installed our plugin. The plugin can be downloaded from our support um, community section of our website. Uh, and then once installed, uh, it'll come up with uh, these two options here. Um, I'm just going to select uh, on this particular email here at the top and select Save as Issue. And you'll see a pop up box comes up and the project lists. Up here, and again, I'm going to put this uh, to the Coles Development Miranda. Same options exist. Again, they they will dynamically change. If I select Design, it'll come back with our drawing type uh, option to select there. Uh, the Save and Drill option exists. If there's an attachment, I can include that or not, as the case may be, which is like file upload in the actual interface that we just showed you before. And this time, if I go save and drill, it takes me out of that Outlook and goes to the web application, takes me into that particular issue, as you can see there. Um, so there's my email um, in, the, in the system. The issue description was the subject of the um, email. I could have edited that in the actual screen. It was possible for me to append to an existing one as well. But in essence, I've just created two issues into the application. Third method is through our um, mobile apps. And so we have two native apps uh, for you to use. They're, they're both um, the same. It's just one's on an Apple platform, uh, iOS, and the other's on an Android platform. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate the Android app. Um, when I say they're the same, they've got the same functionality as issues and document management. Um, they look a little bit different. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do now is just try and get my um, phone to display on the screen. Let's see how I go. I think I'm there. Yes, I am. Very good. <laughs> um, so going, oh, I'll just go back to the home screen. So when you've installed um, Unify, you'll have this app somewhere in your apps list. You see mine's on the front. And um, clicking on it, It'll take you into a login screen. Once you've logged in, it'll bring up this interface here, the text message. <laughs> um, so again, the, the trick to this is that you need to be in a project to be able to do something. So if I'm on all projects, I can see the issues that exist across all my projects, and I can, I can click on them. Uh, and once I do that, it'll select project in the list and I can start to add actions and comments, but I can't add from this screen. So what I need to do is select a project, again, our Coles Development Miranda project. And then you'll see at the top right there's a little plus. So I can click plus and see what my typing skills are like on a phone. Again, categorized. Um, in this instance, there is a, a difference. You're not getting those extra custom fields, so you'd have to update that a, on a different um, back into the web application when you when you synchronize. And then once I'm happy with all of that, one of the things about this app is it's called OnSite, so you'll see that the attachments there has a as a camera. So the idea is that it's for work on a construction site, taking photos, um, noting things on that site. Uh, the document version of this, so there's issues and documents in here, is often used for, for site diaries and things like that. So that little camera appears quite a bit, and clicking on it integrates the image with the resulting um, issue. So if I was just to take a quick photo, and then I tick a little big tick there, 
And now I'm ready to just press the thumbs up. And that issue has been um, saved onto my phone. It does work um, offline, so because of that, you actually have to synchronize um, what you've done to push it back to the server and be able to view it on the web application. To do that, you click this little synchronize thing here. And sorry, I just had a few people try to join, so I'll just make sure I've allowed them to get in. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to synchronize now. It's this uploading issue attachments. Then it downloads all the issues again that people might have added to the system since you last refreshed, and we're done. And so moving back into the web application, refreshing the screen. To do that, I'll just click the Issues tab again. That's, that's refresh the screen. Um, there's the issue called Webinar Presentation, which I did on um, the phone. And if I click on that, you'll see the image that I did on the phone has come through as well. So um, they're the three methods that you've got uh, to, to add. Um, never drilled in on that one with the audio. You can see with that it brought in all of these actions and assigns them and put due dates. That's based off the 